Uh, I just thought I'd show some of the changes in my hobby room. So I'll start by showing the new layout of the Mini Z track. So I'll do a walk around of the layout. So I've got a long straight and a hairpin. And then another hairpin. And then guess what? Another hairpin. And I'm going to watch out for this armoured big rock crew cab because um, I had to put it down here because I filmed the cars in the spot where it usually sits. And then it's back to the start again. So I'm liking this as a fast layout, but I've got plans to change the track and I'm seriously thinking about doing a multi-level track because the rim's small and that will give me a bit more variety and make the laps a bit longer. So I'll also show over here, we've got a Nissan 180SX um, with a body kit on it that arrived a few days ago. And um, I swapped my little Nissan Calsonic 350Z 2005 GT the car back onto a chassis because I've now done a Lexus rim out 94mm the black test car which drives exceptionally well. So there's the Lexus. And although I've read a few times that people say black cars are hard to see on a track, when it's your own track and you're close to it, it's really easy to see so the colour doesn't matter. So keep that in mind guys, that if you're driving on your own track it can be as dark as you want it to be. And a quick look at um, all my drivable Mini Z's. So I've got plans to convert one of them over to a 102mm wheelbase and run a Nissan R390. It'll probably be that Ferrari at the back. And there's the Nissan GTR that was running better on its old lower grip tyres. And the McLaren F1 at the back in the Harrods colour. That was a nightmare on its original tyres. It would oversteer chronically at, in any corner, but now that it's on Kyosho aftermarket tyres, it's an absolutely brilliant car. It drives really well on the track. Alright, so there's the Typhon. Typhon is my favourite outdoor car, it's awesome. And my second favourite, and far more convenient just for its size and um, its durability too, is the LC Racing EMBT, the cute little truggy. And look right beside it, there's another one. So I like it so much, and it's been so reliable, I haven't had a single part break, even though I've been doing jumps and backflips with it, and among other things. So I thought I'll get another one because the WL Toys car, although I love this 124019, it um, tends to break something more or less any time I use it and I don't crash. So it's just um, my aggressive driving style. I've done a few jumps with it, but um, only a few because it broke on a jump. But the part was already broken, so I can't blame the jump for it. And um, Alright, that's it.